But anyway, slash marker, wild frost. I'm I'm just I'm crazy today. I even changed my game name. I didn't even change the game name. We're back. I've been gone for a week. Uh, this is uh, it's it's not called tame warmth. Good title. That's really gonna get the people pogging up. Okay. Good one. Please don't focus on the game. We need to have good content, okay? Good old-fashioned content where I don't talk about anything except the game at all. Gain one burp on kill. Fury three kind of goes insane. Deal additional damage to hurt targets. Oh, right. I forgot enemies are upgraded as well. Turn off the purple charm. It's probably a good idea, actually. Just for our first run. I mean, bro, we want Fury 3 for sure. And then... Give me this. Give me a chance here. Look at all this. This makes me sick of seeing all these names in my, in my journal. Place me. One successful run. The rest are just, just names. I'm just a notch in your bedpost. You're just a line in a freaking song. Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. Snulf has to die. Pangoon, I literally, like, I couldn't care less. You, if you want to hit me for one, by all means. When you get hit, you become stronger. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Why am I so strong? Chat, why am I so strong? Fury! Fury is not the same as Frenzy. I'm stupid. Deal additional damage when alone in a row. Okay. Well, take one of these then. Fluel said knock you out. I would let you hit me again, no problem. Okay, Loki, you need to get out here. One round. I love this game. Me too. I'd say I'm not, nothing but the best. I don't know why I was going to say nothing but the best for my baby. By the way, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, except it's all I want to talk about. I was obsessed this, this week while I was gone with that video uh, from TikTok of the lady making her husband nachos. And it's all like she's shredding the cheese and then... The caption is like, I'm making my husband nachos because if he didn't like the dinner I made, if, if I don't eat, if I don't cook him nachos, then he'll just starve. And then like, she, she says, uh, at first I used to be mad, but then I just, uh, I blame his mom for never having him try salmon. And I was like, bro, this video is already hilarious. And then they show her delivering the nachos to the husband. And the dude is wrapped up on the couch in like his pajamas with a blanket tucked up to his chest. And he reaches out his hands like this. He's like, and then she puts the bowl in and he is like, and he puts it back on his stomach. And he's like, like, it looks like a little kid, like eating cereal in front of the TV. Oh, dude. Oh, it got me pretty good. I'm just going to say it got me pre pretty good, Fokker. Pretty good. Even if it is fake, I, I commend their comedy, uh, their comedy genius. You can go ahead and hit me for two and see if I care, because I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I do six damage. I'm just going to smoke you so we get a two-piece combo. Look at that. Times two combo. Why is he proud of a times two? Well, usually I get a minus two. It's a great video. I'm sure someone on Twitter will show it to you, but I don't know. Show it like you're going to type in because somebody linked me to this. I don't know. Well, these seem pretty bad. Let's try and increase health by four. You just walk down to the town square and say, could somebody show me this video, please? Someone will they'll hook you up. I promise. When healed, gain plus two, apply poison, increase when hit, deal additional damage to snow targets. Give me a little berry. Yes, the original clip does also play Mother by Megan Trainer, which makes it even uh, more hilarious, I would say. 
Now, does increasing your health by four heal you? Oh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have thought it did, but it did. Lucky me. I'm not your mother. I knew your mother. Snap. What's your? If you had to do a tier list of all the lines in Mother, which one would you think is the best, and which one would you like? What would be S tier? What would be like Z tier? I definitely feel like it's the worst when Megan Trainer says, "Stop all that mansplaining and listen to me." Sixty-two way tie. Like it's it's not the content. It's it's simply that the like mansplaining as a uh, syllabically like is just an awkward word. Holy cow, you're all going down. You gotta go. Why are you mansplaining the song to us? I wasn't mansplaining the song to you. I was just talking about it. Nicely. Oh, you you have to be alone in a row. Sorry. Um, it's my mistake. Double damage on somebody here. You know what we could do? Like, set up a combo like this. You apply some double damage here. Get sun rotted. You're going to take double damage, which means you're dead. You were going to die anyway, but now you're super dead. You don't get to... Mimics don't get to do damage in my house. Nacho husband kind of looks like you. Yep. Uh, that's another reason I think it's pretty funny. Although I'm offended by the insinuation. I can't deny that he has a large head and a receding hairline. He's not bald, but he has a receding hairline for sure. I was just like the. I don't understand how to articulate why the video is so funny. It's just the the shock image, like the jump scare of seeing that the the husband is just in full on like blanky mode is so good. It's just the guy, I. What am I doing? I think I did this wrong. It's the blanket, dude. I Because, like, it's not even... It's that he looks like a 10-year-old boy, but he's a man. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything wrong with going blanky mode. But then, like... I, I would say I don't feel comfortable going blanky mode. It's not that I feel like society would judge me. It's just like, as a man, that's not what I'm at my most comfortable anymore. Unless I'm sick, in which case I'll go blanky mode, and that's no big deal. But he also, like, he shows no appreciation. Maybe he does later, but he shows no appreciation at all for getting some nachos. If my wife came in with some nachos, I would be like, holy cow, nachos, thank you so much. But he literally is just like looking at the TV and then he like looks up and goes and takes the nachos like down to his stomach. It's just like he's not grateful at all. It just and this is too much like uh, information, but it just it, you start asking the question. You're like, how did the, how did the courtship go like to begin with here? I you apply four snow. I'm not a smart man. Three Fury. There's a sequel where he's grateful. I'm not interested in that one. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> you do know nachos are easy to make. You don't have to be thankful. Okay, well then if he made them, I would agree with you. But he didn't make that shit. So his wife made it for him because he doesn't eat salmon. Salmon! The most chicken of all the fishes. I thought that was tuna. You live your whole life according to what, like, the Sunkiss Corporation put in a jingle in 1971. 
Yes, all right, well, as long, as long as you know, that's fine. It's just a great video. I'm sure they have a good relationship. That's what you have to say. Because <laughs> I don't actually know them, otherwise it would be parasocial. You have to watch her other TikTok. It's comedy gold. Comedy gold, you say. Salmon tastes like butthole. <laughs> you better find a, a, a wife who's willing to make you some nachos. I just can't imagine, like... This could be a great combo. I just can't imagine, like, being a fully grown man. And I, this, I'm putting my own beliefs into this, okay? I can't imagine being a fully grown man. Like, I'm not there yet. I'm still waiting for my next growth spurt. Um, but what I was actually going to say is I, I can't imagine being a fully grown man and your wife cooks you like a meal that's not designed to kill you. Like it's designed to be food. And then you just go in like, I can't eat this. Make me some nachos instead. Like it's just, even if it's not like your favorite meal of all time, you know, someone cooked it for you. You just eat it. Flame water. Ooh. You just eat it. And then like couple hours later you make like a peanut butter sandwich or something like that when an ally is killed gain their sword they got kids too listen I'm not <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to act like they're not in a good relationship it's just that one video gave an image of their relationship that is a little surprising. It's not even that he's a picky eater. It's that I'm, I'm getting gaslit here. It's that he barely looks up from the television to receive his bespoke nachos, man. It's like it's... I'm not even worried about you. You don't bother me. I'm not worried about you at all. You're going to do two damage, you're going to do five damage, you're going to get a kill that's going to let you heal little Barry. It's over for you. Here, get get snowed. I hope he's okay. Because if he's not okay, the way he's getting torched in all the comments of every social media platform on the planet, like if he's already depressed and then he's getting just ripped TikTok, Twitter like he's it's gonna be even uh it's gonna be even harder to get out of the pit for sure but I I hope it's just comedy genius holy cow we're insanely strong and insanely handsome um we're going to you do 20 damage sunrod on you will always go crazy You do two damage. It's irrelevant to me. Um, take some pink berry juice to get a little stronger. Hello, Scath Eyes. Welcome. Nice to see you. You do frost. No, thank you. We're going to slow you down. Oh, we killed you. I'm the best. mentioned omg you know it was like i've been away for a week it's nice to be here and then you know all the all the classic characters are back it's like whenever they make a new star wars they always got to be like you know here's chewbacca hi chewbacca here's han solo hi han solo here's gleep glorpo i am i i'm not in the slightest getting involved in the Jedi Fallen Order, this Jedi Survivor, whatever, because I like just don't care. I, basically, full stop. But I'm so sick of, like, a new Star Wars property comes out, and then everybody, all the reviews are like, and the main guy is not that interesting, but you know who really steals the show? A plucky, foul-mouthed robot named Beep Boop. How many different games and movies and TV shows can they do where there's like a, a sassy robot? It's a different robot every time and people still are like, oh my god! 
The robot said the F word. I mean, it's a Disney property, so probably not, but... Always take a crown. Come on out. I'm reading the comments on Nacho Husband. By the way, I love that you capitalized it as if it's like he's a character now. Men are not okay. Dude said she married a man-child so she could mock him to get sympathy online. Many women desire this sort of life. Well, to me, that seems like a win-win. He gets the nachos and she gets some attention. And maybe that's the dynamic that works for them. Who am I to judge? It's possible. Everybody's got a different thing going on, I'm sure. That's what your image was based on? Now I feel bad. I assume that everybody was as online as I was last week and saw Nacho. <laughs> saw Nacho husband, like, as it appeared. We're going insano mode, brother. Look at this. Holy cow. I mean, I should probably get Loki out there, but I just... I, I, what can I say? Guy might be my ex. <laughs> We're still talking about Nacho Guy? There's a lot to glean from Nacho Guy. There's a lot of glean ability. I got an idea. You should go first. Then we get a combo, and also we get a kill on Big Barry, which buffs Lil Barry. Didn't quite finish the job, but it's still pretty good. Why don't you go ahead, get a little stronger. Glean ability, the new, the foul-mouthed robot who steals the show in the new 5 out of 10 Star Wars television series. I wouldn't say it's necessarily worth your time, but if you're interested in seeing a robot that is a trash compactor with an attitude. There's a lot worse ways to spend 17 hours this summer. No offense to Andor. I hear Andor's good. It would always be good if you got a kill. But we can't really move anybody else into the row. I understand. So you're going to hit me for two. Consider that relatively irrelevant. We, oh, we take double damage. You know what? Take some pink berry juice then. Let's make you a little stronger. Could have gotten a little spicy there. Same goes for Grogu. It's the same recipe. You leave Grogu's name out of your mouth, though. Grogu's a damn cutie. What do you mean, Grogu? Would you try to insult me? Tell me Grogu's the same format as... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> You see what you did? Now go make me some nachos. I can't eat this salmon and rice. Mom never made me eat this. He might be a good guy. I don't know. Listen, we will win if Fluel gets to attack. It's that simple. When snowed, apply some frost. I missed the part where that's my problem. Um, let's get a uh, combo this turn. Get smoked. Lil Berry smokes you. Lil Berry clears you easy. I don't even care. Frost me. See if I, I give two shakes of a lamb's tail. You do what? Four damage? That's irrelevant. Reroll me. I'm still acting like it's not staged. I'm telling you straight up, I don't care if it is staged. There's no... I don't, I don't know where, like, we as a... Societies went went wrong, man. And now, well, you're right. That is double damage, isn't it? <laughs> Where now we 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 can't appreciate uh, like staged humor anymore. It used to just be called comedy. These days, everything has to be like an embarrassing act that someone was caught unawares. So I'm sorry, Big Barry. It's my fault. I mean, if they staged it. I'll give him some credit. It's kind of comedy genius, quite frankly. It's smarter than what I would have come up with. Okay, I'll get a mobile campfire. Do some munching. I think we have to... Um, like, losing a scrappy sword makes sense. I also feel like uh, maybe it's okay to keep woodhead. Give me, give me two scrappy swords out of here. 
Ice Spice reference. I love the Ice Spice. Have you considered not being on platforms that do psychic damage? No psychic damage. I the the Nacho husband is the it's the funniest story of the year as far as I'm concerned. It's one of the funniest stories I've ever seen. Found it very entertaining. Well, active at aimless to all enemies. It's like you gotta die first, then you gotta go. Which means you gotta attack more frequently. We'll, we'll go like flame water. Flame water. Oh, you had aimless to me, to me. Okay, I see the I see the danger now. Skylar. I would rather you never got a chance to attack. You're going to do two. You're going to do two. You're not going to get a kill. You might get a kill. 13 damage. You might, you, you, might, you might do some serious damage. You know what you could do. Oh, but you got to be... Wait. No, it's okay. You don't have to... Well, let me think about this. <laughs> you don't even get to attack this turn. Why, why am I worried about it? Reroll me. Now you get to attack. Y'all ready for this? Watch this. I really thought that Big Barry was gonna get a kill. I miscalculated, but still that's pretty good. I'm not even worried about the spikes. It's not relevant, it's irrelevant. Um, Loki should be out there. You're about to do two damage. I know that, well, you know what? Mm, uh, let me think about this. I don't know. When, excuse me, when hit gain spikes. I'm just gonna heal you. You you need, that's the price I pay. I can't even play mobile campfire. I'm realizing now. Let's get a, a sweet combo piece out here. I mean, as long as our hero gets to attack, nothing can stop us. You're gonna do two damage. You're gonna get a kill. Ah, wait, 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 you're gonna, no, you're gonna live. You take some support. You're not gonna die this turn. I did the math right. Now you got spikes on you. Now that is dangerous. That's okay, I can just hit you with one of these. Reroll. And a second sword. A second sword has hit the sheep. Loki's wasted his attack, big whoop. Fluwell gets to go next. You attack whenever you get hit? The hell is a damn scam? Are you gonna attack through snow? Thankfully no, good lord. Okay, he's recovered from his injuries. Take me to the bling snail cave. Duplicate my, my flame water again. It goes crazy. Take me to the woolly snail. Ah. I beseech you, barkeep. Tis nice to see the warm glow of the hearth after a day out at, at sea. On the frozen mountaintops. A goblet of ale for me and my party, please. Prithee, has anyone mentioned anything about a sparkling jewel in a dragon's eye? I've been sent on a quest by King Oldrich to retrieve this jewel that has been beset in the macula region of this foul creature. What's happening? Oh, I'm just role-playing the most annoying person ever playing D&D. Um, honestly, crown on a flame water. Smoke in a pancake. Increase damage by two barrage consume. We snooze. Restore two barrage. Seems kind of crazy though. Countdown by one barrage. Seems kind of crazy. Gain eight acorn. I'm gonna put this on my weakest unit. Actually, you know I'm gonna put this on my hero because if they die, it's all over. 
Would you smoke a cigarette with a pancake? I'll be honest with you. I'm not that into... Um, a smoke or a pancake, quite frankly. <laughs> Add frenzy and gain consume. I'm more into the pancakes than the smoke, but... I feel like this doesn't really work on anything for us. I don't want to consume my barrage cards. They seem kind of nice. I feel like maybe 8 HP on the pink berry juice. Nice uh, temporary bonus for Lil Berry. I can't say Lil Berry also, because isn't that like a, a guy from Archer? Makes me feel like I'm 10 years old. It's just Barry? Yeah, but doesn't he say like, yeah, but oh, yeah, good thinking, other Barry. That's normal Barry? <laughs> what are you talking about? Honestly, just count me down. Like, we win if we attack faster than you. Do it like this. Whoops. <laughs> dunky, 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 de dunk. Well, you know. How about one of these? I bet we can get an extra trigger on Big Berry's heal by doing this. Nope. I don't know why I assume they had Frenzy. You do four damage. You have so much HP. I'm going to take my reroll immediately. I don't care about the four damage. It's irrelevant to me. This is very relevant to me. You do two damage. That's irrelevant to me. This is very relevant to me. Why are you dinky donking like it's Cult of the Lamb? It's illegal for a man to have a good time now. Could have fooled me. Everyone seems to be on the side of Nacho, husband. Okay, you, listen, you're going to get a kill, you're going to heal, you're going to do more damage. It's great news, keep it up. It's a great turn to send Loki out there. Was that like a seven-piece combo? You're going to do four damage, you're going to do zero damage and apply one poison aimless. You trigger when an, trigger against a target when an ally attacks at all? Huh? Watch this. Hit the puffball. Oh! <laughs> Get smoked. He's crazy. Full heals. Probably should have put Loki up there for that. You got me on that one. You got me on that one for sure. Okay, get, get some double damage out here. Reroll me. Big Barry's gonna live. You don't have to cry. Big Barry's gonna live. Because watch this. I dragged it in the wrong place. I meant to put it back in the deck. Oh, okay. You apply one poison aimless. On kill, you restore health. It's the sound of a child's laughter. Nothing like it, man. I'm a genius. Watch this. Here comes the genius. Cannot split. Did you see that? And my campfire died. Allowing us to do this. Now you're going to do four damage. You're going to do four damage. But you're not going to do four damage. You know why? Because your ass is dead. I mean frozen. Two piece combo. Easiest kill of my life. All we have to do is kill you and then it's over. Well, in that case, give me one of these. I'm being real with you. I don't mean this in a negative way. It's almost no way to think of it except for a negative way, but I mean it in a, in a in just a, a factual way. I think this is the longest stream I've ever done in my entire life. It just just in terms of the how much how long it feels. 
Like I can't believe that there's 28 minutes left. I feel like I've been I've been streaming for like 20 hours. No, it's not that it's not that I hate you. It's because I, I'm used to being on vacation and having like nothing, doing nothing at all. Like I, I've had days on vacation where like I had one thing to do and it was like go to the bank and I'm like, ugh, oh, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it takes I go do it it takes three minutes and I'm like oh thank god that's done no it's not it's not that it feels long and it's like torturous it's just that it feels like it's, it feels like I've been here for a while I need to go away again this is the worst fight in history I did not say I'd rather go to the bank I got too many opportunities here. I got too many options. Always good to get Loki out there. Always good to have your best units attack faster. Always good to have flame water. In fact, I don't know why I haven't applied it yet. I should definitely be attacking you. What am I'm not paying attention. You know, I'm not paying attention. Somebody said, I have been, um, I'm so lazy. I've been trying to procrastinate getting a haircut for the past month. And I was going to say, be careful, brother. That's how it started with me. And look what happened. All, and now I probably cost myself the game as a result. Can you believe this? Here's what we're going to do. We can at least kill you. We can make it so that only Lil Barry gets affected by Haze. And this is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's okay. This still does enough damage to get two kills. It sucks about the... It sucks about your um, not getting Fury, but it doesn't matter because we got enough to kill you and then you just, you know, you take it on your armor anyway. So we can Sunlight Drum here. You're going to attack four. Enough to get yourself killed like an idiot. You have haze. That's what we got to be careful about. You should... The more you attack, the better off we're going to be. But you, wait, you're going to... Yeah, yeah, no, this is good. Okay, do more damage. You got double damage taken. You're about to get a kill. You can bench him. He comes back without haze. It's it's too easy. The game's too simple. You obviously need to perish. You're you're gonna die. That's wonderful news. We have to kill the units that give haze. We can do that. Oh! <laughs> He's crazy. I mean, honestly, I redraw. I just want a little Barry out there. Bro, where's my... Li oh, there. He's literally the first thing we pulled. Okay, fair enough. Um, get a little berry out there. You're going to escape, and I support that for you. It's kind of... You're, you're, like, extremely annoying to kill. You know that? You're extremely annoying to kill. Snow stick you. I'm not worried about the goblin's bling, Okay. What is this, like Peter Jackson's 17th Hobbit movie? The Goblin's Bling just, it, it holds no interest for me. Why don't why, we make Lil Barry like insanely strong? When active, add hog-headed to all enemies. Okay, we still need to kill the, the Bursters. We can get you killed, but I'd really like to get down to this, this fool right here. Tempo. It's called Tempo. Reroll me. You go next. I feel like the next logical step 
you get a kill by doing this. You got 8 HP, you can handle it. Everybody up here counts down by one. Uh, no, 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 no. Put it back in the deck. You gotta go. No, this is this is sensible. Originally didn't appear sensible. I think this is sensible. Count me down by one. Something's fundamentally wrong with my brain. Why do I never remember that it's health in the top left and attack in the top right? In my head, I was like, he's only doing five damage. Why is everyone going uh, eight equals eight in chat? I do it all the time, don't worry. Is there like a... <laughs> I'm not saying it's the game's fault, but the game could also save me. Is there a setting to just flip that? Hearthstone and Magic do it the other way? I think that's what's throwing me, honestly. And Sap does it the other way? Well, you got me. All right, well. 